I'm Chad from FSI, and welcome to the fifth episode of our Arena Editor series. If you haven't watched our previous episode about trees and rocks, you can watch it here. When it comes to object placement, we have two options, static objects and dynamic objects. Static objects are fixed and can be used as decoration or for gameplay relevant purposes like providing cover. Dynamic objects are affected by physics and add to the mayhem during a battle. They can serve other purposes as well, like covering up secret passages. The objects can be placed and rotated freely with an intuitive system. In the final game, there will be many more objects available. What you can see is basically just what we use for testing. We will also offer the possibility to colorize objects. The GUI we use here is just a draft. We will improve it or replace it completely. Dynamic objects can be stacked in creative ways. You can create piles of boxes or place objects on tables and such. As mentioned in previous episodes, everything will be available in multiplayer. So you can, for example, focus on placing objects while your friends create and paint buildings, shape terrains, or place vegetation. Later in development, we want to create functional and moving objects. For example, switches that can be linked to doors, giant ventilation units with rotating rotors, or hydraulic presses, just to name a few. Traps could also become a thing. We are thinking of adding a kind of optional tractor beam component for drones, so objects can be moved, and this might give the possibility to create physics-based puzzles, like from Half-Life 2. Let's check our modifications from a drone's perspective. The lighting is calculated now, and you can see that shadows have more depth. All the dynamic objects react very nicely to impacts. Crashing through a wall of boxes, or shooting at a pile and watch them collapse is fun. Before I wrap this up, let me quickly show what's up next for the Arena Editor series, Dynamic Weather. Stay tuned for the next episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Drone is a community-driven game, and it is important that we reach more people before we can start the crowdfunding campaign. If you want to see Drone become a reality, we need your help with spreading the word. Chad, signing out. I hope to see you in the next one.